Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. I'm one of the presenters here at Battlebox. So today I want to talk about something where it just the thing just the me because Nanjano supposed carry last. Nanjano they carry last. But everything we they do, we always be four second or third. And I remember myself, even when I go secondary school, I don't know, maybe you know, it's a be the Sigobi College. And uh what we they do in the house sports. Every time so after we do in the house sports, no matter, no matter, we know if we carry last. Like, even if we carry last, we go scatter everywhere. Because of that hunger and that energy, say ah, you know how we know we we'll carry, how we know we we'll come back with one medal or come back with gold or bronze or silver. So anyway, the Olympics just ended, and as the Olympics ended, uh, Nigeria sent about 88 athletes to compete, uh, 25 uh, men and 63 women. And if you look at just the whole thing, just I don't know, uh, I think it's that Tinubu actually, this Tinubu guy, man. I remember the same thing for Cup of Nations against Ivory Coast. Who is supposed to win? We know win. So now, how we go go Olympics like all the way for France? We know if you win one gold, like not even one ordinary medal, and you have a lot of countries who never reach Nigeria. Many of them uh, out performing and out doing well for Nigeria. Here are some African countries that went. Cote d'Ivoire again. This same Cote d'Ivoire people just the followers of Andal. Cote d'Ivoire get one medal. Nigeria zero. Apart from Cote d'Ivoire, other countries include Morocco with two medals, Uganda with two medals, Botswana two medals, Ethiopia three medals, Tunisia three medals, Egypt three medals, Algeria three medals, South Africa coming in with six medals. So how come we say Nigeria no fit carry one ordinary, just one small medal, even if they are bronze of all the 88 athletes we will send. And some of those athletes, again, if you listen to some of them, some of them take their money, now their money they take sponsor themselves. So be like say the Nigerian Olympic Committee, I don't know what they do with all the money they give them, even if they give them any money. Because most of those guys just have to pave their way and struggle to be able to even make it to the Olympics. And uh, the thing just it get as it be, it be one kind. We know they invest for sports. See this one where people just they do protests as the protests they ongoing. You know, that was during the same time we Olympics they go on. We don't really pay attention to Olympic toys. Anyway, why pay attention? Most of the guys we did there. Uh, they sponsor themselves go Olympic. Imagine that kind of thing. So you play for your country, a giant of Africa, and now you they sponsor yourself they go. Apart from that, uh, the kind of sports where they play, a lot of the sports we don't get facilities to be able to support them. We don't get facilities. We don't get equipment. We don't get any uh, organization really. They don't get this kind of competition. We say that they put together wherever you feel they fight with each other or they play with each other to make sure say they get the best and send the best. So white person go even want to represent Nigeria, that kind of thing. You know, when we say Nigeria no really send. Uh, so again, all these African countries where I call, most of them, if not all of them, none of them is big in terms of size and population and even GDP. Maybe except South Africa, uh, rich Nigeria. So where all the money they go? Why we no fit invest for sports? Why we no fit uh, come out when we say people go just okay? I won't invest in uh, uh, minor league for uh, football. I won't invest in uh, minor league for basketball for children, which was the day secondary school. Because remember those days during our time, we they go to national stadium, they get basketball there, they get uh, tr track and field. Even track, Nigeria did good for track before. I don't know how we just drove so we never even get any any medal. So I don't know what I think. Sorry guys, I'm supposed to speak this in English, but I'm not because it's kind of a shameful thing to talk about how you know we went to the Olympics and we didn't even win any medal, you know. You think just they do one kind and they just they pepper me well. So what things would they do? I don't understand. John Eno, what thing they do? John Eno, I am the name of the guy Minister of Sports. The guy came out and issued an apology to all Nigerians. Because Olympics is every four years. And Nigeria has been going since Helsinki, I think, since when we've been doing it. The only one we missed, and that was the boycott, I think, of 72 of Ivory Coast or something like that. But ever since then we'd always show. And most times we'd always bring something back. So it'd be like the country just they go down, like on every different level, every angle, just they go down. And that's why most people, they don't even send Nigeria anymore. A lot of them don't even, like, they don't want to rep Nigeria anymore. So you have some athletes who won medals, Nigerian Bono, but they know they don't send Nigeria message. Yeah, Monsieur Ogunle won gold for Germany. Our papa now from Ekiti State. So imagine that kind of thing, you see, Nigeria. But you know, represent Nigeria, you represent Germany. And I don't blame her at all. I mean, if I were her, I would probably do the same because Nigeria no get facilities to train, Nigeria no really supports, and just the whole thing, it just get as it be. Aid Nessa, 
That's another one. But that one, her real name is uh Ibili Chuku Antoinette Agbapong. She changed to Islam. She can't soak in her she won the represents now. And she represents Nigeria anymore. That one got silver. Oh, that one is Samu Omorodion. Samu Omorodion was one of those that uh, helped the Spanish side to win the men's title. He scored a goal for the team. Michael Olise, another guy be that. Annette Echikumoke, again, Nigerian born. So, point be say, you get all this, we say, and the list goes on and on. A lot of Nigeria say if they don't come, they represent Nigeria anymore. They don't want their associate with Nigeria. They, they distance themselves from Nigeria, at least during the Olympics, they did. And they, they ended up winning gold. Bronze or silver, and those we say Nigeria born, we represent Nigeria. We go, some people use their money, they don't win anything. So just very sad, and to see say Nigeria they carry last on things like this. Ah, uh -uh, waiting they happen now. Like the thing just they, they get as the team be. Why we know if you win at least one medal, even that bronze just one. Uh, so waiting I think how on a reason now. Uh, she not new book because there is not to new book for. I mean, I join you know the minister of sports. Or she not just the, uh, the the decay over the years or the improper plan, improper infrastructure. And also, we save ourselves, we they take her and they do ourselves. All these invest where they get money, where they get men, money, money. It's when they take their money, they invest in the youth, invest in facilities, sponsor premier, sponsor some leagues, you know, local champions, just invest in children. So when those children come, they will at least want to do something. We'll be saying, you know, say, okay, they want to do this. We'll say, that thing will change the world. What's in that thing? How on a reason? I want to check them out. Let me know in the comment below. Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.